What's up, guys? It's Friday, and I wanted you to spend some time over the weekend thinking about the answer to this question. What is it you're in manufacturing sales, you're in uh, technical sales, things like that. What is it that you're doing as a salesperson to separate yourself from the competition? Now, I don't mean what technology do you have, what capabilities do you have over your competitors. I'm talking about you as a person, you as a salesperson. What are you doing to separate yourself? When you walk into an OEM, when you walk into a contract manufacturer, whatever it is that you're selling, everybody pretty much tends to look exactly the same. So what I mean by that is you've got the same guys wearing poloed logo, dry fit Nike shirts. They're wearing Oxford shirts with their logo on it. Uh, with some dockers. I mean, this is manufacturing sales. This is the common thing that I've seen in the 10 years that I was doing it and still working with clients today. And it's still the same stuff that you see. So what is it that you're doing to stand out from an appearance standpoint? How are you standing out from a, from a response standpoint? How quickly are you getting back to customers? So really think about how are you going to differentiate yourself? And you can reinvent yourself every day, every week, every hour, every month. Uh, You could change the way that your behavior is all the time to get yourself to be better. So reinvent yourself. Think about it over the weekend. Three things that I used to do personally when I was in manufacturing sales was everybody wears the logo shirts. I never liked wearing those because you look like everybody else. So I used to wear a tie and, and in the wintertime I had a sweater over it, but that made me stand out. I was selling the same thing as other people when I was in plastics. And my competitors would come in and they would look one way and I'd come in and I'd look a different way. And I don't care if at the end of the day, you're known as the douchebag that wears a tie when everybody else is wearing polo shirts. Whatever it is that you need to do to stand out and get attention, that's what it's all about, getting remembered. So I used to, to one, wear a tie. I used to, two, I would respond to emails faster than anybody. Email comes through, it would hit me on my phone, I would respond back. You don't have to have the answer right away to, to respond to the email. All you have to do is say, Thanks for sending that. I'll let me get right back to you or whatever it is. Um, I'll get that information over to you. Let me ask a couple questions around here. The, the third thing I used to do, and I see a lot of people making this mistake, is how long does it take for you to complete an RFQ? So is it taking you two weeks? And I don't want to hear that you've got to wait for information from your supply chain or you're waiting for something from a tooling guy or anything like that. You need to, to be able to respond to RFQs quickly and you need to be able to get them done quickly. I was doing RFQs, complex ones, even the most complex ones would maybe be a week that were multi-million dollar RFQs. So if it's taking you multiple weeks, you're going to lose. You have to respond quickly. You have to get these quotes done quickly. So think about that over the weekend. What are you going to do next week? How are you going to reinvent yourself to stand out against all the other dudes and girls in your space that are selling the same shit that you are? with different capabilities and different technologies, but they all look the same. So do something different.